Today I'm here to talk about why all moms should masturbate more. Yeah, I said it. We should all masturbate more. Now, before I begin, if the word masturbate makes you uncomfortable, or if this topic offends you or doesn't interest you, you can just hit stop on this video right now and that is perfectly all right. But if you're still with me, and I hope you are, let's get started and talk about the beautiful and healing practice of self-pleasure. And to begin, I just wanna take a moment and talk about why self-pleasure is so important for us as women and mothers. First, orgasms release your body's natural endorphins, ushering in feelings of happiness and euphoria. And I think as moms, we all need more of that. Orgasms relieve stress, they help release stuck emotions, a self-pleasure practice can really reconnect you to yourself when you feel like you're getting lost within the demands and the chaos of motherhood. And as it relates to the health of your intimate relationship or marriage, masturbating can help support your libido by keeping you regularly revved up and in tune with your own body. Because what they say is true. Sex begets sex, and the more orgasms you have, the more you'll desire. And for mothers in particular, intentionally self-pleasuring is a self-care practice that powerfully puts your needs first, even if just for a few moments. And that's really the big one, right? That is the one nugget of truth that I want you to take from this video. So I'm gonna say it again. For mothers, self-pleasuring is a practice in powerfully putting your needs first, even if just for a few moments, because as mothers, it is in our nature to take care of everyone else before we tend to ourselves, right? We give and give everything we have to the ones we love the most. And not because we have to, but because we really want to, because we know that motherhood is a blessing and a mission and a calling from the deepest part of our soul. But when we don't balance that immense maternal giving with receiving, then we wind up depleted. And I don't want you to feel depleted, and neither do your kids or your partner. I want you steeped in pleasure and connected to your beautiful body and your feminine vitality, no matter what else is on your plate. And I know it's a lot. And so here's a little experiment for you to try. I want you to commit to self-pleasuring once a week for the next four weeks. Just give it a try because what do you have to lose? Nothing. You only have beautiful benefits to gain, more pleasure, in your life, more connection to yourself, more sweetness with yourself, and more sensuality that you can then channel into your relationship. And I want you to just remember that self-pleasure is one of the most normal and healthy, and honest and healing acts of self-care that you can do for yourself as a woman and a mother and a partner. So here's the bottom line on this self-pleasuring mission, should you choose to accept it. All you need to do is find the time, even just 10 minutes, to be with yourself once a week. Find the space, lock your bedroom door, do it in the shower, pleasure yourself in the closet if you need to, I don't care. Get inspired. There is free erotica available for you all over the internet. Or fantasize about that celebrity crush that always gets you excited. And then give yourself the permission to really express yourself through pleasure. Laugh, moan, cry, scream, let it all out and then feel the healing and energizing effects of more consistent orgasms in your life created for you by you. And I want you to know I'm here for you. So if you have any questions or doubts or need more encouragement to get this pleasure practice started in your life, just leave your comments below and we'll get the conversation flowing. As always, thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.